Hey Daniel, where are we going? Huh? We're over we're in New York. New York. New York. <laughs> Leave Palooza, New York! New York! Where's the New Jersey exit? So we got Richard here. We're planning some of the shots. Uh, New York, New Jersey. We got Rico Palooza 2019. So we're in the show floor. Uh, Okay, let's just wing it. Yeah. yeah. What is going on, guys? We're at Reef Blues in New York slash New Jersey. What? <laughs> it's right. Right. Oh, it's Clam for days. It looks fantastic. Guys, I bet you don't yeah, know you. what kind of an enemy this is. Apparently, it's a uh, pretty new one to the hobby that just was discovered a couple months ago. Go toward just all the rage right now. Look at this beautiful one right here. Not cheap, not cheap. Hey, what's up, Reef first? Today, we are in New Jersey for Reef Appaloosa. Today's approach was to film all the corals first because all the nice corals seem to get sold right away. There's more focus on livestock here versus equipment. Uh, when you go to Magna, usually it's equipment. Oh, you know why this whole place is somewhat empty? Raffles happening right there. So one huge aspect of these shows are the raffles. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, so as you can see behind us right here. Can you win? <laughs> oh man, I really want this piece. Mm. What? What the heck? Oh my goodness, this is a sign. This definitely caught my eyes. Look at all these corals. I'm Chris with Aquatic Realm International. I specialize in LPS corals, gonopora and red carpets. Can you show us a little bit about what you got? Sure, so this is our uh, Ghani and encrusting tray. We have some uh, chalices and gonopora. We have the two variations, actually we have three variations. There's a short short tentacle gonoporas on these rows. Okay. The longer tentacle gonoporas right here and an avalpora. Nice. There's also a really, 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 really special gonopora right there and that's the bicolor natural grafted gonopora. You can see on the tentacles. Oh man. And this is naturally grafted. Natural grafted, yeah. Came in from the wild like that. Came in literally like about this big. Yep. And for the past five years, we've grown it out. This huge red carpet. Yes. Um, how much did it cost? It's 1200. 1200. Yes. It's really good, actually. How about like Ghanapora, like cost of Ghanis? So that Ghanapora is the most expensive Ghanapora. Um, it's at 2000. Chris, these caught my eyes as well. Can you talk a little bit about this? This is a yeah, cool so little story. These are individual frag transport containers. And they have interlocking material on them so that when you put a frag plug in, they're locked and they stay locked. Building Obsession, which is uh, Ben Sue's company, started many years ago, but he saw at frag swaps when we would have to individually bag each and every one of these corals to bring them home to us. He came up with an idea to make a transport system that would interlock and hold the frags together so that when we went to shows, we could literally Good just... Lord. You can see, you can see that this has some give. Yeah, but this, it's still this is holding. right. All right, don't that, that scares me. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! This is a nice tank. You know, like before my 45, I was gonna get this one. Yeah. I saw one in person, and it was so intimidating, so I stopped. Yeah, so I went step down to 45. This was my dream tank uh, until I saw the innovative marine uh, 70 gun drop off. This wow. is one of the <laughs> nicest mushrooms I've seen at the show. Here's something I want to expand it. Look at this. Look at the interesting coloration. Have you seen one with this color? I don't think it's bleached out. I don't, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comment below. A few different hammer that I fused together. Orange uh, Oshi, and then the Toxic, which is green and purple, and then there's a few couple babies underneath it. So do you just like cut the head and yes. then just kind of put it together? That's right. And it's Healed together? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are the color mixing or what's, what's going on? Um, I'm not sure. There's no guarantee. Yeah. But the new baby, as you can see, some purple, some green. Yeah. It's um, really interesting. Baby. Some of them, I think this side has some like orange coming out. Did you do this because you've seen it somewhere or you just kind of. Like, I just kind of. I saw people do it with the Zoes. Yep. And uh, I stopped doing it. I just want to say it's cool to see freshwater, planetary, aqua space stuff here at a reef show. This looks nice, isn't it? This is kind of cool too. Wouldn't these be perfect for the 
mini complete tank? I think so. Here are some larger version, but these are pretty pricey, it's $55. People will plan like uh, Monte Carlo, so they'll plan like those moss on here. Oh man, look here. Jeff is adjusting the lights. Yeah, take a quick peek. So these are UVRs, meaning that if you have these blue or UV lights that you use for aquarium, look at how these artwork fluorescence. Really cool. I know recently she started making prints production. These are not UV, however, they still look fantastic. First day? It was it, it was a lot of fun, but it was a very tiring. Your days. first Reef of Blusa. Just from your expression, I know thoroughly enjoyed it. Loved it. Loved it? Loved it. One to ten. Mm -hmm. Ten being highest. How many how enjoyable? It, it was a ten. It was, it was a ten, but it's, so yeah. it's only day one. We got one more day tomorrow. Well as long as we get some sleep, yeah, it'll be good. The next morning. Alright, welcome to Sundays of Reef Blusa. Today first we're gonna check out Hannah's new equipment. Hey, what's up? Finally. <laughs> nice. This is good. Good stuff. Yeah. There's some really cool equipment here as well. Check these out. This is pretty creative. These are almost like UV tie dyed tongs. Another booth that really caught my eyes is Pets Warehouse. Um, it caught my eyes because like there are a lot of fish here. And this somewhat reminds me of the fish street at Hong Kong. We also got like um, clams and corals on the side as well, but of course they're setting up right now, so I'm gonna get out of the way. Check these out. That's some really <laughs> interesting looking fish. Look at these little two pike fish right here. Very cool. And look at this sweet anemone. I'm not too sure what that is, but it looks really nice and large. Look at that. Dude, Guys, look at this. Da qi gao sou. Da hei gao sou. Actually, that's a really good price for a uh, CO2 regulator. I wonder how good it is. And I think that's the new uh, single channel pump. Awesome seeing these kind of products here. All right, we have Supreme Reefs. Take a look at what they got. They always have some fire, and they're from the DMV area. These are some huge Finhead Andros, and my god, look at those ACATs. These are fantastic. But today, we are really looking at Ghani Cores. Check these guys out. These guys are a little bit above my pay range because I'm not super confident in my reef keeping skills yet But if I have my skills, I would definitely pick a couple of these guys up. These are beautiful and Check out these really nice torch coral right there. And of course we got the Chicago Sunburst These are originally from Tank It Easy. Looks really nice. Alright guys, if you guys have been following the channel You know that I'm a huge fan of Ocean, Ocean Nutrition's Prime Reef right here. While we got Jason here I want him to introduce maybe one or two other products that may appeal to the rest of you guys. One really nice product that we have for uh, reef aquariums and whatnot is the uh, Instant Baby Brine Shrimp. Instant Baby Brine <laughs> Shrimp is decapsulated, hatched, and then put into a saline solution, a super concentrated form. Once the product's open, you want to refrigerate the product. We recommend using the product up within about two weeks after opening it. But it's an excellent reef food, uh, not only for the fish, but you'll see a lot of the corals and inverts really open up and come to life from it also. Well, what we have here is we've got a, uh, a nano pellet. And this is a, uh, a soft and moist pellet that sinks, so that way it's not going to go down your, uh, your overflow in your tank. Ah. But it does sink slowly too, so it'll kind of wave through the water on its way down to the bottom of the tank. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I guess Fritz is uh, good for your body. Oh. What's the one? Turbo start? Delicious. Yeah. Take a look at some of these. Oh man, this is an amazing bounce. Oh, that is nice too. Uh, those ones are one Oh my god. Look at, look at, look at this guy right here. Today, we're also trying to find a baby clownfish to kind of keep the other one in Tank Island company. So, Emily, which one do you see? Which one do you like? Miss Bar. <laughs> she is like straight up into the Miss Bar game. She really likes that one in the bottom. That's actually a good size. I think that'll do well. So, let's do this. Uh, I know there are a couple vendors that sell clownfish here. We'll take a look around, and if there's nothing else, we'll pick that little guy up. Yeah? Oh, 
check out these long fin clownfish. Man, look at that. Look at this. Two little fishies, they always have really nice mangrove plants. Looks like they have some pots here. I like the fact that they use mangrove as the main structure of their tank. I think this kind of tank, um, just not as common in this hobby. And uh, one day, I really want to set up something similar to this. Look at this little guy right here. Beautiful. How about this guy right here? I hit up one of the stand that I'm really looking forward to. That's Aquatic Life, if you guys know. I've been using LED for a while, but recently switched to T5 and absolutely love it. And the Aquatic Life has one of the best T5 hybrid I've found out there. Here we got David. Tell us a little bit more. The new fixture we're just launching right now is the, the dimmable version. Um, so what we ended up doing is taking a lot of the feedback from the customers. Uh, we did the single power cord. We made it so that the outer lamps, uh, front and back, will work on one balance. The two inner lamps will work on uh, the second balance with the dimming options. Uh, all of the wires are running through the sides here now so that you're able to do that single power cord that we talked about. In addition to the dimmable coming out, we also did the new wall mount so that this will allow you to adjust it. Just as a secondary component, you can actually lift it up. Nice. You can lock it into place. What bolts are your favorite for internal T5s? I actually run the uh, ATI Blue Plus with a purple in my mix. So I have three and one. I have a purple in the back uh, front inner. And then I have the two blue plus in the front and then the other one in the very back of the picture. So that's what I personally use. Richard, you're a dance machine. As you know, we're looking for Gonicoras. Check out these right here. Man, that is nice. All right, I may have to pick one of these guys up. All right, we got Kurt here from Ellos. And one thing that really caught my eyes are these ceramic Aqua rocks. Rocher, ceramic live rock replacement. The live rock replacement basically is a, a fire ceramic material that supports anaerobic and aerobic bacteria growth. Very easily, you can take a few pieces and quickly do a small ah. tank landscape. We do two different size kits for an Acropora. This is a small Acropora kit. It's a 15 piece. Pieces are interchangeable, so you can change corals in different locations or have multiple cups so that you can move a coral out of your frag tank and into your display tank. Beautiful. We do a larger set, which is 25 pieces. The pieces come with adjustable sleeves, so you can put them in different hole sizes ah, for extension. Nice. This kit right here retails for, let's see, it's around 300. This kit right here retails for 450. How about those smaller pieces that the we saw? Smaller earlier? pieces over here, you're looking at this one running at around 89. The smaller they go, you're going down to like 56. Uh, small world. Yo, say hi to your brother, man. <laughs> what the What's heck? up, David? We're here selling corals. This is our prize possession. OG bounce. All right. How much, uh, how much, how much is it going for? 2,500. Price actually came down. I think that's actually a good price. That is a good like, price. Like a good we could have cut it up, but as hobbyists, we felt that was inappropriate to cut up something so beautiful. Well played. That's the truth. This is one of our pieces right here too. We call this the. Shit, what do you call this? David, you gotta oh, talk we, to broader a little bit. You gotta push him a little bit. The Wheel of Fortune, Will Sony. Fortune? It's nice. really, really beautiful. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Got it. We have a small frag right here. We also been growing this for a long time, and we felt. We couldn't cut this one either. I might as well ask the price. 500. 500. See, that's not affordable. Not, not that. Anyway, 500. 500. Ben, do it. 
No, Daniel, Daniel got that star in his eyes already. He's ready to do it. And then this is your first time at Reef Palooza as well. What do you think? Uh, it's very interesting. I really love coming here. This is. I always wanted to go to an aquatic show. Yeah. So this is my first time coming here. This, I've only been in the reef hobby for almost a year. So it was very interesting to see all the different people and talking to them. I'm picking up my first uh, SPSs today. Ah, oh, nice. Congrats. <laughs> Man, I've seen you both days here and you have a cooler. It looks pretty full. Mushroom. Outer chaos probably. Trunk coral. That's a nice size oil. That looks huge actually. Hammer. Excellent. Sunkiss bounce mushroom. Sunkiss bounce, really nice. How much is, did you pay for this? 150. Nice large piece. All right, so out of all the stuff that you got, right, what do you think is your favorite? Definitely the bounce. So DMV Reefer, what did you pick What's up today? Up guys? Blurry clownfish for the new build. They look great actually. I know, they're really nice. $40 for the pair. What? Yeah. Wow, okay, that's actually really good. Really red coral, so it's pretty wow. awesome. Nice. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for these guys. They're gonna look real nice in the 20 gallon. All right guys, I bought my first thing. They got some really sweet anemone shrimps here. Uh, the one I'm picking up is actually hiding in under one of them is the Yucatan? Yucatan? How do you pronounce Yucatan. it? Yucatan. 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 Uh, uh, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere down there, I think. One, there he is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, thank you. Look at this little fella right there. So 20 bucks for this little guy. Uh, Richard, while we're waiting for Ben uh, yes. to come here and talk about Reapbots right here, I just want to get your take on it. Because a lot of different testers are coming out into the markets. What do you think makes the Reapbot different? I've been following this for about four years now. Right. And uh, I actually have one that's at home. And I can tell you that it works. Okay. And it works well. And it, it's nothing really beats the, the accuracy and, the, and the, how the titration actually works. I like the fact that it uses the, all the test kits that's available to the market that we already know, I know and trust and that we love. And I like the fact that this does everything for you. It's very convenient. It's time effective. You just have it set it in an app, forget it, and it just gives you an app automatically. Okay, if you were to use the Repot, which you have, yeah. what test kits do you use? Well, for the Repot that I'm using, um, I use a lot of the Red Sea kits because the Red Sea okay. is a very, um, uh, I guess, a reliable brand that's been out for a long time, as well as Salford. Fauna Marine has a nitrate kit. And nitrate is one of those things that you should test for pretty often if you're, if you're an aqua blower. You know, if, you're, if you love your SPS, your nitrate should be within a certain range. All right, while we're filming here, Todd actually picked up a box of this Reef Kinetic Reef Bots. Can I ask you really quickly what made you decide to go with them? The versatility. Versatility. The way, the way that they can test a lot more things than um, a lot of the other ones that are out on the market. And also the fact that by the end of the year, they will be having a doser that will integrate with the Reef Bot. Interesting. All right, we'll ask a little, Razari a little bit more about the doser. Thank you so much. Sure thing. Continuing the trend. Raffles. More raffles. But again, I've never had luck with raffles, so I didn't bother entering. So I guess you never win anything you don't try, right? There's a life lesson here. I hear good things about this skimmer. It's uh, pretty expensive. What the heck? Uh, guys, he's uh, he's ready. All right, today we have Reef Nutrition with Chad. What's going on, guys? Uh, I got tinker pods for you. Tell they're, us about this tinker pods. Uh, they're huge pods. They're good for fishes. Um, you do not want to drink this really bad because you're not bouncing around like these tinker pods right here. Yeah, well, yeah. there's a, there's a lot in there. We got phyto feast here. Phyto feast, okay. Uh, really good for like clams, feather dusters, and all that. Perfect. Uh, this, I think you could drink it, maybe. <laughs> Kidding. Um, I am bad, mighty nano tank. This is actually Chad. I'm Chad. Reef Chad nutrition. Uh, I'm gonna let him take over, please, Chad. Obviously, you have a host of really nice products. Typically, people may not be able to like afford all these, right? If there are only two products, do you recommend for mixed reef? What would you recommend as start with. If, if you're just feeding corals, yep. our, our, our best two products are Phyto Feast and Oyster Feast. Perfect. And so Phyto Feast is the most concentrated microalgae product on the market. We're 20, kind, 20 times as concentrated as anybody else. This is what we do. We're professional phytoplankton farmers in mm -hmm. California. Uh, and so this one's really good for non-photosynthetics, bivalves, um, you know, zooplankton, and then this one just makes up the rest for SPS corals and, and other filter feeders. So Perfect. a lot of nutrition, a lot of variety, different particle sizes, uh, and it's consistent and it's clean. Excuse me. Guess what? I need, I need to have something to drink. These guys are so done. I love it. It looks cute on your What is this? 
the Reef Shine guys, in, co in collaboration of Reef Breeders, Phyto, Phyto Plan. My favorite Canadian. What's going on here? Uh, you don't want that. No, 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 no. Midnight, midnight torches? Yeah. Is that what it is? Black about? torch? Black, black torch? Midnight yeah. torch? Yeah. These ones go on the Purple. Yeah, you're loading up. I'm good. It's like last minute sprints. Yeah. Oh, what the? This is last minute edition. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna ask questions. <laughs> oh boy. This guy. What are you drinking here? Oh. That's a it good It does the body good. It's a bit <laughs> nutty. Closing time. Another year, another reap. Palooza in New York. Say goodbye. Hopefully we'll see you next so, time. See ya! We'll see you, Rock! Have a good day. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, so as you can see, once again, great people at this show. I think there's a really big reason that I come to this show is the people. It's all about the people. Lots of great corals, of course. But what I've noticed is that while there are a lot of great corals, the price definitely reflects the rarity as well. Uh, all the great corals that really catch your eyes is they almost always start at 200. As a result, I'm not going home with any corals at all today. She's happy, more money for the baby. So, but we are going home with one shrimp. So I picked up an enemy shrimp that I'll be showing you guys really shortly. I'll be adding to the shrimp to the 10 gallon tank. With that said though, it's always a good time to hang out with you guys, hang out with fellow content creator, and special thanks to Richard of Alvishinado at Reeves.com. And of course, we got Javier from okay. Ecotech. Uh, again, great people and a lot of interesting new products. Some products I really like is the, uh, the T5 Hybrid from Aquatic Life. Uh, they have Dimbo T5. The price is up more now. However, I think like the price reflects the new build and the new innovation. And it's also nice to see uh, companies like Elos bring in some new innovation, like the ceramic rock and stuff like that. Hello. All right. But with that said, we are about to head back. It has been a long, long weekend. I do not look forward to editing the video because there's a lot of footage. And besides this channel, be sure to check out Reefs.com. Richard shot a lot of more professional video talking about all the different new products and new animals coming to the trade. And be sure to check out Mighty Nano Tang on Instagram. He did a lot of funny little videos. We did a lot of skit while at Reef Palooza. Just a fantastic time. All right, guys. With that said, I'm going to check the raffle and see if I won anything. Cross my fingers. But I don't think I actually buy any raffle tickets. So I don't think I'll win anything. <laughs> So that's something you said about know, like you don't win anything that you don't buy tickets to or something like that. I don't that, that, that kind of luck. Yeah. At this point I'm kinda of like delirious. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Alright guys, with this out, I'll see you guys next Sunday at 12 p.m. job. See ya!